Welcome back. I'm Derek Watkins, an experienced McKenzie friend and the founder of McKenzie Friend Consultants. In this video, I'm going to be talking about your first hearing, that is a physical hearing at the court, rather than a remote hearing, which I will cover in a later video. For many of you, this will be your first time in court. You may be on your own and it can be a little daunting. However, try your best not to worry too much. You should aim to arrive an hour before your hearing, unless your notice says otherwise. When arriving at the court complex, there will typically be several buildings or courts. Check on your instructions, and if they say the family court, simply check at the front door if that is the family court. Your instructions may also say that the hearing is in the magistrate's court, so in that case, ask for the magistrate's court. Have your notice of the hearing, which has your case number handy, and present this at the front door and they should point you in the right directions. They are there to help you. You initially go through security, which is a little like airport security. Once through, there may be a reception desk where you can show your notice and ask which court your hearing is in, or there may be a notice board which has all the cases listed. Look for your case number, check which court number, and then make your way to that court. If you're in doubt, simply ask any of the officials. They are normally very friendly and will help you. When you're in the court area, there will be a waiting room and some consultancy rooms, which are normally occupied by lawyers. There may also be another desk in that area. Head to that desk and let the usher know that you have arrived. Prior to the hearing, you should have produced a position statement. Bring four copies with you, as you will need one for yourself one for each of the judge, Kafkas, and the other party. Keep your own copy and give the other three copies to the usher. I'll be covering your position statement later in my next video, so I suggest that you may want to press the subscribe button below to make sure you get it. You should sit, you should sit in the waiting area and you will be called into call when they're ready for your hearing. Kafkas will hopefully be present at the hearing However, that is not always the case. If they are present, they should introduce themselves and have a chat about your case and any concerns that they may have. You may also get a visit from your ex's barrister if they are represented. Try not to be too worried by this. They may appear very friendly, however, don't be fooled by them and don't agree to anything that they ask at this stage. They are trying to put you off your guard and are often highly intimidating. That is their job, and whilst it can be off-putting, that is what they do. The first hearing is really about three things. Firstly, it is an introduction to CAFGAS and understanding if there are any safeguarding concerns. It is understanding what the main issues are between the parties and deciding what the next step should be and what the interim contact arrangement should be until the next hearing. When a judge or magistrates are ready, you'll be called in. However, the hearings regularly run late, so don't get too anxious if it goes past your hearing time. If it drags on, you can always ask the usher how things are going and when they expect your hearing will start. The usher will come and get you and take you through to the court when the judge is ready. You'll be guided to where you should sit and please make sure that your mobile is switched off. The judge will realise that you're unrepresented and should guide you through the hearing, so try not to worry too much. If you're unsure of anything, then simply ask the judge and he or she will help. If CAFCAS are present, then the judge will initially ask them to give their view on matters and what their recommendations are. If you're actually represented, then the barrister will give their view on matters and try to monopolise the hearing. A good judge should ask your views on certain points and invite you to comment. However, that is not always the case. You therefore need to make sure that you get your main points across and you have your say. If, you're dis if you disagree on anything, then ensure that you tell the judge. Quite often, you may not be able to get a word in. Therefore, hold your hand up and ask you can comment. The judge will let you know when it's your turn. Don't let the hearing pass you by without getting your main points across. 
There may be points made during the hearing or questions that the judge asks which you don't understand. If that is the case, then simply ask the judge to explain further and the judge will be all too happy to expand on the matter so that it's clearer. Towards the end of the hearing, the judge will retire to consider what he has heard and the views of the parties. When the judge returns, he or she will provide the judgment as to the outcome and what the next actions are. You should make a careful note of what the judge directs as this is vitally important. There is little point in disagreeing with the judge at this stage as his decision is made. However, if you're not quite sure of what is being said, then simply ask the judge to clarify further, and he will. The hearing is then over, and you are free to go. You should receive a copy of the court order within a few weeks of the hearing. This should state exactly what the judge ordered at the end of the hearing. So, that's it really. It wasn't so bad after all, and you'll be more experienced and relaxed, or hopefully so, at your next hearing. If you want assistance at your hearing, or would like to discuss your case, then simply go to www.mackenziefriendconsultants.co.uk and book your free consultancy with me. Bye for now, and until the next time.